Hi everyone, and welcome to Mr. Crumpler's Storytime. Today I'd like to read for you a great book called Franklin's Halloween. I picked this up at the library this week and I was thinking, hey, Halloween's coming up soon. Let's grab this book. So let's begin. Franklin's Halloween, written by Paulette Bourgeois and illustrated by Brenda Clark. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He knew the days of the week, the months of the year, and the holidays in every season. Today was October 31st. It was Halloween. Franklin could hardly wait for tonight's costume party. Everyone would be there. Look, he's rummaging through his trunk. He's got a feather boa, there's a spider up there, and several other kind of costumes. I wonder what he's gonna wear for Halloween. Franklin and his friends had talked about the party for weeks. There would be games, prizes, and even a parade. Hey, that sounds fun. Best of all, there would be a haunted house. Now that sounds scary. <laughs> I think there will be bats and spiders, said Franklin. And skeletons, added Beaver. Rabbit shivered. My sister says she saw a real ghost in there last year. The silly rabbit, said Beaver. There are no real ghosts. Look. They're all looking at the Halloween party flyer, the costume contest, and all the details. They're all thinking about what they're going to wear this year. All of Franklin friend, uh, Franklin's friends were excited because of the costume contest. Franklin wasn't sure what he was going to wear. He tried on everything in his dress-up trunk, but nothing seemed quite right. <laughs> He's got a feather boa and a leopard print and a mask here. He's got a uh, detective coat a king outfit, and he's got a fun red wig right there. I wonder which one he's gonna choose. Beaver and Goose were keeping their costumes secret. Try to find us at the party, they giggled. Fox was also mysterious about what he was going to be. Look for something gruesome, he said. That gave Franklin an idea. He would be something creepy. It took Franklin more than an hour to make his costume. As soon as it was done, he sneaked up behind his father and tapped him on the shoulder. Trick or treat, said Franklin. Ah, gasped his father. Who are you? Oh, in his deepest, spookiest voice, Franklin answered, It's me, Frankenstein. That's an awesome costume. On the way to town, Franklin tried to guess who was inside each costume. At least I don't have to worry about finding Bear, said Franklin. He's always a ghost. Look, everyone's headed to the town hall for the Halloween party con and the costume contest. By the time Franklin and his parents arrived, the party had started. Franklin spotted a ghost at the apple bobbing and hurried towards him. Hello, Bear. Franklin said, who? Answered the ghost. That's good, Bear, said Franklin. You sound really scary. Franklin bobbed for an apple. Then he ran to the pumpkin toss. It was his favorite game because he always won a treat. Franklin's bag was almost full by the time the judges announced the costume contest. While everyone lined up for the parade, Franklin tried to find more of his friends. He thought he'd recognize Beaver and Goose, but where was Fox? They marched around the building twice. Franklin made horrible monster sounds and shuffled with stiff straight legs. He won a prize for being the best green monster. That's fantastic. Can you guys see his costume? And can you also find the fox? I think I see him. There was only one more thing to do. Go into the haunted house. <gasps> you first, said Beaver, pushing Franklin towards the door. It creaked open. A skeleton rattled. Chains clanged. There were moans. Franklin stepped on something crunchy. Suddenly, a big hairy hand reached out of the darkness. Franklin's heart beat hard and fast. But before he could scream, a light was flipped on. <gasps> Retreat, shouted Mr. Mole. Franklin looked around nervously. Then he laughed. 
the hairy head was only Mr. Mole's mop. Here's a treat for braving the haunted house, said Mr. Mole. A ghost came before you. He got so scared he flew away. But Bear can't fly, said Franklin. It wasn't Bear, explained Mr. Mole. Bear is homesick with a nasty cold. Hmm, Franklin shuddered. If Bear wasn't the ghost, then who was it? He ran back to his friends who were waiting in line for the haunted house. Wasn't it scary? asked the fox. You look like you've seen a ghost. Maybe I did, said Franklin. He told them what Mr. Mole had said. You mean that bear was never found, never here? asked Beaver. Franklin shook his head. The ghost flew over them. It swooped low and called, Hoo! Rabbit twitched. So what is white says who and flies? A real ghost! answered Goose. Run! Look. They all start running. Franklin was about to follow when he saw a feather floating down. Stop! he shouted. I think I know who the ghost is. Franklin showed them the feather. Look, it must be Mr. Owl. Even Rabbit giggled when he realized the trick their teacher played. <laughs> By the end of the party, everyone's bag was full. Poor bear, said Raccoon. No treats for him. We should share our treats with bear, suggested Franklin. That's a great idea. All the friends agreed. They each put some treats into a bag, then walked to bear's house and left the bag on the doorstep. Trick or treat, they called, and they all went. That was so kind and thoughtful of them. Look how happy Bear is to see the treats they left for him. Oh, oh do you see these little mice also doing trick-or-treating there? <laughs> That's fun. On the way home, Franklin looked into his treat bag. Oh, goodness, said his mother. You have enough there to last until next round Halloween. Maybe, said Franklin, sampling a few. But secretly, he hoped the treats would last until the end of the week. <laughs> The end. What a great story this was, Franklin's Halloween, and it was so nice of him and his friends to share with their friend the bear. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's story, and stay tuned for our next story coming up. Bye-bye.